Hi, I'm Jeff Diamond. I'm the owner of Diamond Amps, and today we're going to be doing a little demonstration for you of our Mac 2. It's our Mac 2 right here, which is our MIDI amp controller. And what we wanted to do with this piece was we wanted to give you some flexibility with your rig and have an easy solution that allows you to control the channel changing on your amp with any standard MIDI controller. So if you have rack mounted effects and you've always had the issue of how do I control my effects and my amp so I can make all my foot switching with one foot switch that changes my channels and my presets, you're now able to do that with this little tiny piece that you can put into your rig. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you today how we have it hooked up and we're going to show you how it works and how easy it is to program and what an effective piece it can be for you. And we're not only going to show you how you can control your amp, but we're actually going to show you how you can control your amp and your effects at the same time. We're going to control two amps at the same time and we're going to be previewing our new loop switch product that will show you how with the Mac 2 you can control not only the channel changes of your amp, but you can change your effects loop as well by turning your effects loop on and off at the same time. So what we've done is we've gone ahead and we've hooked up the Mac 2 for you and we've hooked it up to two different amps to start. Uh, one of them is our Dakota and the other one is uh, our Diamond Nitrox. So we use these two heads because they have two different types of foot switches, two different types of controllers. In the case of the Dakota, there are three separate mono jacks on the back so that you can control the three functions. And the first one takes you from channel one to channel two. The second one will take you from channel 2A to 2B. The third one will activate or deactivate the boost feature that's on the amp. As opposed to the Nitrox, and the Nitrox actually switches a little different because it uses a tippering sleeve or what you might call a stereo jack, and it's got two functions available instead of three. The first will take you from channel 1 to 2, and the second will alternate between channel 2A and 2B. So one of the nice things about the Mac 2 is it affords you several hookup options because you have five jack, four jacks on the back. The first three jacks are mono jacks which will allow you to connect to anything that takes a standard just tip to ground connection. And the second jack is a tip ring sleeve jack, which gives you, of course, switching functions at the tip and the ring, which is very common amongst foot switches on amplifiers today, not just mine, but any number of products. So we wanted to show you how both of those things work together, so we've hooked it up both ways. So what we've done on the back is we've used three different colors so that you can see the cables clearly. We've used a green cable on switch one that will connect to switch one on the Dakota, which activates channel one to two. We've used a yellow cable on jack two, which is the 2AB function, which will allow you to switch from channel 2A to 2B. And then the third cable, which is orange, is gonna be the one connected to the boost, which will allow you to activate or deactivate your boost. Now in the case of the Nitrox, what we've done is we've used again a tip ring sleeve cable. So there's one cable going from the Mac 2 to the foot switch jack of the Nitrox, and that's gonna allow you the two different functions. The tip function will switch between channel one and channel two, and the ring function will switch between channel 2A and 2B, which is again common on, on any number of amplifiers. So I've told you how we've hooked up the Mac 2 to the amps. The other thing is the question of how we actually control the Mac 2, and that's one of the nice features about it is you can use any standard MIDI pedal to control it. The Mac 2 will accept anything that sends a MIDI command. So in this case, we've used a Rocktron all-access touring model. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sending MIDI patch changes from the Rocktron to the Mac 2 and watching how it switches the functions. So the important thing to note is that once the cables are plugged into the amp, what you'll find out is that these switches now emulate the front panel switches of your amp. So in this case, we've indicated that the first switch is hooked up to the channel 1-2 function of the Dakota. So you can see when I press the button, the light activates on channel one, or switch 1 here, and you can see that on the Dakota, we've now gone from channel 1 to channel 2 automatically with that switch. If I wanted to add in and go to channel 2B, I'd simply switch switch 2, which then activates the channel 2A, channel 2B function, and you can now see we've gone from channel 2A to channel 2B on the amp. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna program a couple of basic patch changes uh, right now to show you how easy it is. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna decide that on our pedal board, we're gonna want our switch one, our, our preset one to be our main crunch sound, which is just gonna be our channel two rhythm sound. Uh, going to be our normal heavy gain rhythm tone. 
So all we're going to do is we're going to step on the owl access telling it preset number one. And then I'm going to set the switches for how I want the amp to be whenever I step on switch one. And in this case, I want it to be on channel 2A. So I will just simply hit that switch. Note that the amp has switched over to channel 2A. And I'm going to hold down the right key until the Mac 2 blinks at me. Now, I'll switch off of that into channel 2. And you'll see that all the lights are gone on the Mac 2. And we're back on channel 1 of the amp. So now to show you how that works, I'll simply step on preset one and you'll see that my amp is switched over into channel 2A just like I wanted it to be. So now let's say I wanted to use channel 2B as a lead tone and I want that to be number two on my pedal board so I can go from number one to my rhythm to number two for my leads. So I'm simply going to step on preset two that tells the Mac 2 that we're looking for preset two. I'm going to set my switches so that channel 2B is now active. And I'm going to hold down the right key until it blinks at me. And I have that program. So when I step on preset 1, you'll see I've gone back to channel 2A for my rhythm. And when I step on preset 2, you'll see that I've kicked over onto channel 2B for my lead tone. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how the Mac 2 is also controlling the Nitrox so that we can show you how it can control both amps at the same time. And as I mentioned, the Mac 2 is connected to the Nitrox with a tip ring sleeve controller. Tip ring sleeve controller, of course, has only one cable, one quarter inch cable, but it's a stereo cable, so the tip function will control the channel one to two. The ring function will control the two A to two B on the Nitrox. So when you do that, you end up with two switches on the front of the Mac 2. Channel four is associated with the tip function of that cable, so that'll activate your channel one, two. And switch five is connected to the ring function, so that'll activate your two A, two B. So you'll see that when I switch switch 4, the Nitrox goes from channel 1 to channel 2. And when I switch switch 5, the Nitrox goes from 2A to 2B. So now we're going to program these presets. We're going to modify these presets so that we can show you how we're controlling both amps at the same time. So let's assume that on preset number 1 that we wanted to be our rhythm sound. We want the Dakota on channel 2A and we want the Nitrox on channel 2A. So I step over on switch 1. And you can see we already programmed the Dakota to switch to 2A, but I also want the Nitrox to switch to 2A. So I just activate switch 4, noting that the Nitrox has changed, and I hold down the right key. And now you'll see that when I step over to preset 2, go back to preset 1, I've got channel 2A on the Dakota and channel, 2B, or channel 2A on the Nitrox. So now let's say I wanted to combine both of these for my lead tone. So I want channel 2B on both amps to be active at the same time on preset 2. I simply step on preset 2. I'll switch on to 2A and 2B. So now 2B is active there as well. And we already know that 2B is still active on the Dakota. Hold down the right key till it blinks. Now I have on preset 1, 2A and 2A. On preset 2, I have 2B and 2B. And it's really that easy. Now if I wanted to switch my rack effects at the same time, I simply set up so that when I step on preset 1 on the all access, it gives me whatever preset it is that I want on my TC Electronics D2 that I have here. And I've now changed my amps and my effects at the same time.